<sighs> Looks like we made it. And with nothing but a few scratches to show. <laughs> Think you might have overdone it? I followed the instructions to the letter. Maybe it triggered a reaction with the Mako? Well, let's hope the city's still in one piece. But the planet's what matters, right? I mean, this must have helped some. After all that, it had better have. Anyway, let's get going. We in Sector 8? That'd be just down there. All right, then. Lead the way. You got it! Huh. Watch out for live wires. They're everywhere. Ugh. The air in here reeks. Can't wait to get out in the open. Man, what is that? I've never smelled anything so foul. Oh, it's me. Gotta do something about that. And soon. I felt that one in my guts. They just keep on coming. We need to get out of this place. Was it the Mako density? The primary explosive? The blasting agent? Hey, we can figure that out later. <sighs> I'm running on empty here. You can refuel at the base. Next time I'll have to bring a little pick-me-up. That's about as good a place as any. Stand back, then. I'll set the bomb. Can't wait to see you, Marlene. Can't wait to take a hot shower. She's good to go. Fire in the hole! <laughs> you sure told those doors. Let that be a Let's lesson for anything that gets in my way. Attention, all citizens. Attention, all citizens. This is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. Unidentified intruders have detonated a bomb inside Mako Reactor 1. Multiple explosions have been confirmed, as well as ongoing fire. In response, a disaster warning has been issued in sectors 1 and 8. Structures in the area are at high risk of collapse, rendering the entire sector hazardous. Therefore, all risks are no. No way. This couldn't have been us, could it? But what if it was? What's done is done. <laughs> Merc's right. It ain't pretty, but we can't stop now. This was just the first reactor. And the planet won't be safe till we get the rest. Yeah. We always knew this was gonna get messy. And this is only the beginning. Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture here. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without sacrifice. Though you may not be crying out, I know you're in pain, just like the planet. But it's okay, cause I'm here for you, to help take the load off your shoulders. Your fears, your worries, your concerns, and yes, your fees. Whatever your problem, I got you. Huh. Hmm. So, what's our next move, boss? That's easy enough. We get our asses home! Hmm. Hmm. Split up and shoot for the last train home. Regroup in the freight car. Got it? Later then! Hey. I'd like my money now. You can have it. Once we're back at base.
You know. I don't need to tell you what this is, right? Of course not. It's healing interior. You can have it, for saving my life. Just doing my job, nothing more. Yeah, yeah. Fact is, I'm lucky you were there. <clears throat> Survival can be a matter of luck or skill. And you can't rely on luck. Words to live by. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks. You do know how to use it, right? You do know what I was, right? Okay, I was only trying to help. Oh, before I forget, here's a little something extra for being so brave. That really was the ride of a lifetime. Well, see you on the train. Wait, Mia. Please. It's okay. You're safe now. Got a patient with you. Get back! You're not real. You're... dead. I, uh... I killed you with my own... <gasps> oh, you need not remind me. It was the crowning moment of our time together. But that was then, and this is now. I have a favor to ask. Our beloved planet is dying. Slowly. Silently. Can you bear to see the planet suffer? Cloud. Were the planet to die, so many things would be lost. Your hometown burns so bright. The sound of her voice, pleading for me to spare you. The shiver of her flesh, Yielding to cold steel. That which binds us together would be no more, and I would be loath to live in such a world, which is why I must ask you this one favor. Don't worry, it's a simple thing. Run, Cloud. Run away. You have to leave. You have to live. You bastard! Good, Cloud. Very good. 
hold on to that hatred. I'm seeing things. Fumes from all the Mako, maybe. All right. You got this. My girlfriend's waiting for me. Have to give up. Too weak to save anyone. <laughs> Not even yourself. Are you okay? Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. Here, this is for you. Huh? A flower? That's right. It's a gift. You know, for scaring those things away. What things? Never mind. Think of it as a memento. Just my luck. I heard that, you know. How much? Well, that depends on the customer. In your case... <laughs> it's on the house. Huh? Lovers used to give these when they were reunited. Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. Oh, I'm sure you are. So? So keep your distance. Wait, you think someone's out to get you? Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. I promise. Hey, a Mako reactor just blew. You shouldn't be out here trying to sell f- <gasps>
Just give it up! No run! Here we go. That's that. Nice. Box him in! Box him in! There's no way to run! This will take long. Lost! Yes! That's it. Cooper, on standby! Cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. Mm -hmm. You think he's a keeper? Uh, 
What the hell you been up to, huh? <laughs> Giving public security the runaround. That's what. Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. Well, can't argue with results, huh? <clears throat> what? <sighs> Wait. Got a question for you all. What? Ever been attacked by an invisible enemy? Uh, what? Mm -hmm. Wearing robes. Came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic-induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. A lot of people here. And in the freight car, too. Because of the evacuation order, maybe? Lucky us. Yes. We've got a crowd to hide here. Head for the front of the train to hold that. At Marco Reactor 1. An emergency schedule is now in effect. Your understanding and cooperation is appreciated. Maybe the freight car's not so bad. I just wanted to hear more. What if other reactors were hit as well? Ugh, so cramped. Hey, got a sec? You're, uh, holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector 8? I'm a soldier. Wow. They caught the My hands are still yet. shaking. You get used to it. Something to look forward to. Or maybe not. Should have never gotten out of bed this morning. Just called in sick. Little help, Cloud? Please? I'm sure I can't Sector stop thinking about it. Too. The bomb I made shouldn't have produced an explosion that big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have fail-safes to prevent that kind of thing? Hmm. <laughs> You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Oh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. <sighs> Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, quit talking out your ass. Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? Just, just who do you think you are? A law-abiding, concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? Mm. <laughs> uh, shh. Don't antagonize him. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear? <laughs> Y'all's masters? We will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. That is the Shinra Creed. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Those fighting words. It's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, 
think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not... <clears throat> There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. <coughs> Don't worry, our IDs are impeccable. What'd I tell ya? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there gotta struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako. While the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know. I suppose. There's only one way it can go. 